Good morning everybody, I'm at the house, at the summer kitchen, to check on, on the rats. There is a beautiful butterfly, can you see her? She is gorgeous. Oh, she just opened her wings a second. Oh, look at her, she's gorgeous. We need more beautiful things like butterflies and beautiful birds here in our garden and summer kitchen no we don't need birds in the summer kitchen butterflies will be okay oh i'm so happy the the mice the rats whatever they are they gone at least one is definitely dead then i will check all the drains so we don't have a um, dead rat hanging here and smelling so it's all clear nice i can't see anything up there good it's all nice and clean i'm always checking um if there is any dust and dead uh, on the tables as here for example look this is the red because when they run up there by the roof there so all the dirt goes down here this is it so she was jumping there yesterday probably and oh you you okay it's all good my today's project will be to get rid of this box and uh, to get rid of as much garbage as i can oh, this is the, the the thing i won't film any closer this is it um so yeah the first project actually to <laughs> to move this body from from the garden from here i will keep this drain shut so no creatures can exit <laughs> ay, 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 what an adventure okay this is minus one another kind of urgent project is you have to guess so to 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 to, to do this project i need um three different circles <laughs> and those happen to be perfect so i'm making a template uh for for our future number plate for the house because yeah it is embarrassing we are living with no uh, number well we have one written uh, with a pencil <laughs> so this is time to create a proper one All right, I think this is it. Um, yeah, I have decided to re just don't make this thing. And yeah, just kind of really simple, uh, continuing the theme of our uh, VO logo. And yeah, just continuing the theme of this circle with little dots with the number in the middle i think and um, it will be blue and the background will be white so i will start today with a white color and then i can apply the blue one
already spoiling the food, but I think it's a good start. Oh, I love it. It's a really good start. Oh, perfect. Now, when that is dry, I can uh, I can write with the with the pencil uh, what's gonna be in a blue color, and and then I write in a blue color, which I don't have today with me. I will bring it tomorrow. So yeah, today is the start of the project. Now I'm really in a painting mood. I have the brush already in my hand. I want to paint everything. <laughs> what can I paint today? Maybe the little bedroom. Mm. This is very tempting, extremely tempting. Maybe I can paint it. We have one um, dusty project left for this week. But what's gonna happen? Little bit of dust on fresh paint. Nothing gonna, it's not bad at all. It will give it little antique chic, I think. <laughs> have to think about it. Why it is so incredibly good just sitting in the swings and doing nothing. <laughs> I have uh, two jobs for today. One is uh, kind of boring. Another one, mm, not bad. <laughs> Um, the boring one is to pack the rubble from the floor in the indoor kitchen. Yeah, it is kind of boring. The okay -ish job is to finish a plastering wall in the corridor which actually is a good thing because when I apply the third coat that means the walls are ready for painting and uh, yeah it's one project of the list the entrance the corridor will be lovely because the doors are sanded the walls will be ready for painting the floor is nice yeah I think it's a good idea to to finish the wall in the corridor today and to park the rubble. Parking the rubble. How to motivate myself? Mm. The only one thing can motivate me. <laughs> and Charlotte already texted me. Um, she will be coming later. Uh, to plan our trip to the nursery center. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that motivates me. Okay. I have to start my projects. Oh, and the final project for today will be the dump station. Mm. Yeah. It is three o'clock. It is boiling hot. But it is time to start carrying things into the upper. Um, yeah, so I will do just, I think, two trips. Then I do something different uh, in the house. It is really nice and cool inside. Then I do two more trips to the upper and then I rest. So I think I have to survive <laughs> after all that. And what has to be gone? Um... Uh, some things in the entrance hall actually I want to clear the entrance hall so yeah when you enter you won't see uh, piles of things uh, we have some useful things here like tiles and um, electric boxes the new toilet uh, I think I will move that into another room where we store things and then uh, there are, so I have to clear all that has to be moved to the upper. Yeah, hopefully this room will be 
little bit transformed it will be nice and uh, nice and organized The room is more or less clean, <laughs> um, yeah, it will work for now. We have to move this um, into underground cantina, all that has to be gone, but it has to be taken by, by, taken by special company. We need this, the rest is the good stuff, so it's all well organized here. And the garbage is in the upper waiting for me and I'm actually in a mood for painting. I really want I really want to start painting the room. Oh, what do I do? I don't know. So what I have to do is um, apply the third coat on this wall. And this is actually what I have to do now. But what I want to do. <laughs> is to start painting this room oh maybe just one wall just to see how it looks like i don't know i don't know no i will be a good girl and i will apply the third coat on the wall in the corridor i have to be good <laughs> have to behave so today's haul <laughs> the red nest is leaving our property very happy about that as do some other stuff from the house which is useless broken and um, yeah <laughs> Charlotte was helping me with this box <laughs> oh what a day I think it is 50 degrees, it is so hot today, but the good thing is that the red house, the red nest, the box, it's gone now. Oh, that was quite an adventure. I hope, um, I hope we won't deal with rats any more. Well, I don't think so, actually, because we live uh, in the middle of nature, so we have to be prepared and definitely we are not storing any wood any closer to our house. We have to think about the wood storage for winter, I don't know, at the Arctic, but carrying all the wood to the Arctic, I don't know. So we have to think about it twice or three times <laughs> where to store the wood. Ah, and we have to get a good cat actually, really good cat because the one that comes to 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 sleep in our to sleep on our sofa and pee in our house he doesn't help. He was living really friendly with all those rats, so we need a good hard working cat. Just look at that. We have the guest. We have. <laughs> Well, the guest will, guest will be shown tomorrow. Today we can only see the beautiful presents. Look at that! I hope there's not a frog in there. I hope there is a frog there. <laughs> we need frogs. Oh, they're beautiful. And the seedlings. Okay, now I have to yeah. look at everything. Well, look, you were driving from Germany and the only things you brought in, in your car are the plants. No, no. No, no you no, have no, your... No. Did you get any clothes or yeah, just yeah. plants? No, I brought some clothes though, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy having guests and so many new plants and seedlings to play for me this evening. So I'm not allowing myself playing in the garden until after I finish the wall in the corridor. And yeah, I'm mixing the bucket of, of, of the thing, of the white thing. And I will apply the third coat and then I can play in the garden. And last time at the brick hall, I got myself nice and shiny new tools. 
so quite excited about today's posturing because that will be amazing It's going quite well. I have mixed not enough things, so I will have to make another uh, another batch. It is really hot, but the third layer makes a big difference. So I think this is, that will be the last layer. Then I will sand it off, and it will be ready for painting. But first, I think I need a couple of hours to finish this wall. Wish me luck. I have made another bucket, another portion of the mix. I think it's just enough to finish um, this part of the wall. I hope so. Uh, and while it needs like half an hour to set, uh, so then it's perfect texture. Uh, so while this one is setting, what that means? That I can play in a garden and I have so many exciting things. Um, Mara has just left and she left all of her lovely gifts, the seedlings and the plants. And they are so, so pretty. There are things I've never seen before, like this one. It smells like it has really gentle fragrance like chocolate. Then the salvia. I've never seen one like that and those things are from her garden, something she, she has splitted, uh, she has divided and grown from the seeds, all sort of thing. Oh, this is my favorite type of plant with purpley blue flowers. Oh, and I have already forgotten what is this one. <laughs> I think something vanilla. Uh, but now I will be planting those and who knows what these are. Let me know if you can guess what these are. These are sunflowers. So we have two varieties. Uh, one is meter 180 and another one two meters tall. tall. And I think those are perfect to go um, in this corner, that corner and by the wall. So this is this is what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Right, I have finished the wall. So it is all nice and smooth. So lovely. And I have some tile glue left. Marcella. And um there are two uh, tiles at the base of the house that has fallen ages ago and here is my last project for today to put those back and I think I have just enough 
mixture left so finally one year later that will be fixed <laughs> and this is my um, high technology glove so I can use my phone <laughs> It is not perfect, but it's fixed, at least temporarily, or maybe forever. <laughs> I hope forever.